This is Spanish 2 Beauty and Aesthetics Vocab 31 through 35. I'm going to say each of these words in English, then Spanish, and clap. <clears throat> and after I clap, I'd like you guys to repeat both the English and the Spanish with me, okay? 31. Brush, cepillo. Brush, cepillo. 32. The shampoo, el champú. The shampoo, el champú. 33. The soap, el jabón. The soap, el jabón. 34. The makeup, el maquillaje. The makeup, el maquillaje. And finally, 35. The comb, el peine. The comb, el peine. All right, let's look at 31. Brush, cepillo. Now, a lot of people get two verbs confused. Cepillar, which is to brush, and peinar, which is to comb. Visualize you get up in the morning to brush your hair and somebody's dropped a bunch of vitamin pills in your brush. You say, I can't, I can't see why somebody would put pill, vitamin pills in my brush. I can't see why someone would put vitamin pills in my brush. Now, everybody say peinar. Peinar is to comb. Sometimes it can be painful to comb your hair if you have little knots or if you've got dried sweat or something. So combing your hair can be painful. Now, if CPR is to brush, Cepillo is a brush, and if peinar is the comb, peine is the comb, okay? So, let's look at 32, the shampoo, el champú. Notice, we normally stress the next to last vowel, cepillo, maquillaje. But this accent mark means, hey, don't stress the next to last vowel, don't say champú, stress me, champú. So, it says again, don't stress the next to last file, stress me. And notice there's an H-A-M-P, H-A-M-P. Visualize a former heavyweight boxing champion on TV. He says, I'm the, I was the world champ and I want you to use this shampoo. It's the shampoo for champions. So the heavyweight champion was selling shampoo. The champ was selling shampoo. Now, soap is jabón. And again, the accent means don't stress the next last file, stress me. Don't say jabón, say jabón. Now, be careful. Soap does not end with an O or an A, so you have to remember it's masculine. It's el jabón. Now, I've been told that in maximum security prisons, they don't let prisoners have big bars of soap. Because believe it or not, you can jab a man on the side of the head with a big bar of soap and you can kill him. Don't jab a man on the side of the head with a bar of soap or you can kill him. So, jabón is soap. Okay, so I guess in maximum security prisons they use soft soap. <laughs> that's, that's a funny image. Um, makeup is maquillaje. A little girl puts on her mom's makeup and doesn't do a very good job. She's got lipstick all over her face and she's got blush and eyeliner over. And her older sister comes in and says, Ma is going to kill you when she finds out you put on all that makeup. Her older sister says, Ma is going to kill you when she finds out you put on all that makeup. She wants you to act your age. So maquillage is makeup. This bothered me because makeup is masculine. And most of the time, makeup is worn by women. I know male actors and stuff and TV people use makeup, but it seems to me like makeup should be feminine. Also, here's a little song to help you remember makeup. If you ever heard the Hallelujah Chorus, this will help you remember it. Maquillaje, 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 maquillaje is makeup, maqui... Well, you get the idea. Um, and again, pain, uh, comb is el peine. It can be painful to run a comb through your hair. Okay? Now... Let's do a post-test. I'm going to cover up these words in, Eng in Spanish, and I'd like you to look at their English equivalents and either say the Spanish equivalents out loud, or even better, look at these five English words and write the five Spanish equivalents down in a sheet of paper. This has been Spanish 2, Beauty and Aesthetics, vocab 31 through 35.